Hello everyone, this is Ariane from La Fée de la Mer Handmade Soap Shop in the Magdalene Islands, Quebec, Canada. Today, I am announcing the winner of the soap giveaway that I held last week. So, ta -da -da -da, it's a company called Stargazer Soaps. They have a YouTube account under that name as well as a Facebook account. And um, I don't know the name of the person who won, but I'll be writing them uh, a message on Facebook to tell them that they just won. And if you're watching this video, well, please, you can contact me too and give me your info so I can ship the soap out to you guys. Or to you, anyways. Um, so yeah, I'll post, the, I'll post the message on their Facebook page as soon as I upload this video. Now, to soaping. Right in the background there, you can see my pot of oil. I've master batched to make um, six bars of soap using these molds. So they, these are five pound wood molds. And um, this week and last week, I've been working on palm free and vegan uh, also uh, soap recipes. And uh, today I'm gonna be making a lavender mint uh, soap recipe. And I'm so happy because I got uh, soap maker three up and running on my computer. I've had it for three months and I've been like crying every day because I couldn't use it and I was like, oh my God, I paid a hundred dollars for this thing and I can't even use it. Either it's not uh, user friendly or I'm really dumb when it comes to programming. I think the second option is the answer. Anyways, a really nice soap maker from Vancouver called Chris uh, helped me out and, and, and also um, another one, uh, Linda Lou, helped me before Christmas. Uh, and unfortunately, I didn't succeed at that time, but then I, I started again this week and Chris helped me out and everything's almost set up. Anyways, it's set up and up so I can make recipes. So it's really great because you get all the, you can't, probably can't see anything right now, but um, it gives you the cost per bar or the cost of the total recipe. And then it gives you the percent of every ingredient and then it gives you the NC names uh, when it comes to labeling your soap and it makes CNF uh, files for Health Canada much much easier to, f uh, to um, fill out. <laughs> Excuse my French! I know I say that a lot but um, I guess it's a complex for me uh, to not be able to speak as fluidly as I'd like to in English. Anyways, so it gives you like everything single detail that you want to get in your soap recipe the even the soap qualities like hardness fluffy lather stable leather moisturizing and then it gives you all the information about uh, the saturated and uh, unsaturated um, <laughs> fatty acid composition anyways you get the picture it's a really great software I love it if you don't have it I recommend that you get it there's a light version and a pro version so you can choose which one you want to get but let's get to make soap um, I'll first pour out a part of this master batch and we can get to make my first recipe let's make soap okay so um, all my oils and live water are ready they are at 90 Fahrenheit and um, the technique I'm going to be using today is a technique that I've never used before uh, it's the dandelion zebra swirl and I'll post a link to the author of this swirl if I can find one. Anyways, um, it's sort of a tiger swirl but with a different twist to it. You'll see it's really neat and and in order to do this I've prepared ahead of time um, a divider just made out of a really thin plastic. It's like an acetate sheet of, and I, I they weren't long enough so I I just um, tape them together to fit the size of my mold and I will be placing them into the mold after after I put the, the main batter in. So let's mix the lye, mix the colorants and get to swirling.
So I'm just about to do my second batch of soap out of the same master batch and I'm doing a different recipe this time and a different uh, swirling technique. It's something that I call the tilted three layer chopstick swirl and I've posted a, I posted a few pictures online of other soaps I've made using this technique this week and many people ask me how I do um, this swirl. So I'm just going to show you but basically a chopstick swirl is just a spoon swirl using a chopstick. I find it easier to use, that's only personal preference, you could probably do this technique with, um, with a spoon or the, the handle of a spoon. Anyway, so let me show you how I do this. So the first thing you'll want to be doing is prepare your molds. Um, those are just silicone uh, molds that, that are usually used to make embeds, but I find they fit perfectly underneath my wooden box, just like this, to uh, tilt it a little bit, and I have two of those. so. It's a good thing that I work and making two loaves of five pounds each time. Now since these lines are pretty floppy, I usually take a paper clip to clip on the side that's dangling. And then we'll be ready to pour our soap colors. Is when the chopstick gets in handy or the spoon so um, what I do is I will use a circular pattern press my chopstick down to the bottom and just twirl around from one end to the other and I will do the same with the other bar and then when I'm done I will just continue to add more layers of uh, colored soap and continue the process second time that I'm going to use a chopstick, I will do the same thing as I did the first time by twirling around, except I'm, I'm just like twirling from the middle up, and this is what I find gives the best uh, design in the soap. Now it's time to add a final touch to the top of the soap. So um, I don't know why, but I've been in a Taiwan swirl type kind of a mood lately. So I just go up and down, up and down with my chopstick all the way from left to right uh, in the block. To finish off this Taiwan swirl, draw a straight line one way and back the other. And voila, magnifique, all done. And don't forget to tap tap to avoid air bubbles. Twenty-four hours later, the soap are cured, and I've just rinsed them off in hot water to remove the soda ash on top. And I'll be cutting them in just a few seconds to see the designs that I've done, if they've worked out or not. Let's see. Let's see together.
this is the time where I can see that my hard work pays off. I just love the way these beautiful swirls turned out. finish, I am leaving you with a few images of some soaps that I have done over the past few weeks. Here are a couple of the tilted layers chopstick swirls that I've done and that I love so much. Enjoy!